Frigidaire Dishwasher Model FDPH4316 AD Repairs The Frigidaire 24 Top Control Built-in Plastic Tub Dishwasher with Max Dry 52 DBR offers triple the cleaning power giving your dishes a more effective clean with our three spray arms that achieve B. Plus, enjoy an enhanced dry with Max Dry, which delivers better results reducing the need for towel drying. This quiet dishwasher 52 dBA also includes dish sense sensor technology, a sanitize option and is Energy Star certified. Repairs. For the home, kitchen and beyond, Frigidaire manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair, however. If you're in need of Frigidaire appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Frigidaire dishwasher not cleaning. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the dishwasher. If the valve is clogged or defective, the dishwasher won't get enough water to clean dishes properly. If the water inlet valve is clogged, replace it. Do not attempt to clean the water inlet valve cleaning the valve could make it more likely to fail. My Frigidaire dishwasher will not drain. Drain impeller. The drain impeller pushes water through the drain hose and into the garbage disposer or drain line. If the impeller is broken, replace it. Frigidaire dishwasher buttons not working. Touchpad. First, confirm that the dishwasher display is working. If the display is still working, try pressing some of the touchpad buttons. If some of the buttons respond correctly but others don't, it is likely that the touchpad is at fault. Some manufacturers sell the touchpad separately from the control panel. Other manufacturers require that you purchase the touchpad and control panel together. If you cannot replace the touchpad individually, replace the touchpad and control panel. Dot. Frigidaire dishwasher lights flashing or blinking. Heating element. The heating element heats up the water to operating temperature. If the water doesn't reach the proper temperature after a set amount of time, a light on the control panel might start flashing. To determine if the heating element has burned out, use a multimeter to test it for continuity. If the heating element does not have continuity, replace it. Frigidaire dishwasher leaking. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the dishwasher. If the water inlet valve is stuck open, the dishwasher will continue to fill with water until the dishwasher leaks or overflows. If the water inlet valve is at fault, replace it. Water inlet valves are not repairable if the valve is defective, you must replace it. Frigidaire dishwasher leaking from motor area. Impeller and seal kit. First, Try to determine the source of the leak. If the water is leaking from the motor shaft area, the motor shaft seal is likely defective. If the seal is defective, replace it. Some manufacturers sell the seal independently of the impeller. Other manufacturers require that you purchase the impeller and seal together. Still, other manufacturers require that you purchase the entire pump and motor assembly instead of the impeller and seal. It is usually more cost-effective to replace the impeller and seal kit rather than the pump and motor assembly. Dot. Frigidaire dishwasher won't start. Door switch. The door switch prevents the dishwasher from running while the door is open. If the door switch is defective, the switch will prevent the dishwasher from running even when the door is closed. To determine if the door switch is at fault, use a multimeter to test the switch for continuity. If the switch does not have continuity, replace it. Frigidaire dishwasher won't latch. Door hinge. If the door hinges are damaged, the door won't be able to latch properly. Inspect the door hinges for damage. If a hinge is bent or broken, replace it. Frigidaire dishwasher dispenser not dispensing soap. Buy metal. The bi-metal actuator is a metal loop which acts as a latch for the dispenser door. As electricity is applied to the bi-metal, it deforms and bends away from the latch, releasing it. 
If the bimetal is burned out, it won't release the dispenser door. To determine if the bimetal has burned out, use a multimeter to test it for continuity. If the bimetal does not have continuity, replace it. In addition, make sure that the dishwasher is getting enough water. If the water level is too low, the wash motor may not draw enough current through the bimetal, causing the bimetal not to bend enough to work properly.